Yeah, now here we are at One Tree Island, nearing the end of our expedition. So each day we go through a pattern of uh, preparing our experiment and executing the experiment and measuring the sample. So I'd like to explain that to the viewers. So uh, for, uh, how, how do we prepare the boats in the morning? Right, so the tank boat is the boat that has the tank and the people that deploy the tank. So we first load that with the batteries and the pumps that pump the water and the tank is a very big box and the battery is very heavy and a lot of other bits and pieces that we need to set up the tank. And so so why do we need a tank? Oh, we use the tank to pump water onto the reef. No, to, we use the tank to pre-mix water with our chemicals and then pump that water onto the reef. Okay, and then about two hours later, I usually drive a second boat out. What's that boat about? That boat is uh, the sampling crew, pretty much. Um, they have all the sampling bottles for the back and front line and other bits and pieces they need to mark stations and, and the people that come for sampling. And then people from the tank boat actually join the sampling people as well. And only one person stays with the tank to watch out that everything goes fine with the tank. So uh, there's one tank boat that's pumping an alkaline fluid over the reef yep. and another sampling boat that's going out to measure that. And uh, so you mentioned front and back lines, what's that about? Right, so after, well, after setting up the tank we add the chemicals into the tank and then we pump from the tank, we pump our solution of high alkaline seawater with dye onto the reef and that's what we call the front of the reef is where we pump it onto and just a few centimeters behind where we pump it onto we have a, our front line where we sample this is kind of how it, the situation is before the reef starts working on the water and then the back line is at the other side of the reef crest so the water flows over the reef and then we sample the back line and we have the difference between the front and the back line. So when we're out in the field, can we tell the difference between the front and the back by looking at the water? Yes. <laughs> oh, so there, we don't need a laboratory or anything. We just, oh, no, we just no, no, look no, no, at no. the water oh, and tell no, what happens. I misunderstood your question. No. <laughs> no, we, we sample all the water and then we take it back to the station. Um, it, this time the sampling boat leaves earlier with the people that need to do some, the subsampling while the tank boat still packs up the tank. Um, so as soon as the sampling boat arrives here at the station, they in the lab they st st start subsampling the bottles into um, dissolved oxygen, DIC, dissolved inorganic carbon, pH alkalinity, dye samples and sometimes nutrients, so NH3 and NO3 samples and um, then we carry out the analysis. And where does that go on? Um, most of it in the lab here, but the DICs we send them back home and I'll do them when we are home. And then once the laboratory produces this data, what happens? Then we have a lot of fun putting in the data and double checking that we don't have number twists and that everything is, is right. And then you look at it with your lovely, is it? Mathematica. Mathematica. <laughs> <laughs> and tell us what the results are of the slopes well, and everything. Preliminary results, preliminary, full yeah. analysis will happen back yeah. home. Okay, so I think that gives a pretty good overview of a typical day here and uh, we obviously look forward to a more complete analysis of the results. So yes. Thank you, Jana, for all your work. Thank you, Ken. Mm -hmm.